who can get well, out let's of see who gets nominated first. Yeah. I had, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just saying comes, the way yeah. it looks there's, now. Well, because there's always going to be more men running because there seems to be more of that. But this was yeah. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Hillary Clinton said she did an interview in February, and I think this is such an interesting point. She said, how do you get on this kind of Goldilocks path where you're not too strong, you're not too weak, you're not too aggressive, you're not too passive? This is still a problem for women on the public stage. How do you find sort of that perfect balance where you're not, you know, criticized for acting yeah. like a jerk if you're a woman, you and know, you're, you don't come across as just a weakling? You know, the one thing about Trump is that he didn't think he was going to win. And he didn't care whether he won or not. He was just interested in promoting his businesses, really, through the presidency. Right. Let's face it. And when you don't care if you're going to win, it's like, oh, devil mm -hmm. may care. You say any stupid thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. people say, oh, that's interesting. You know? Oh, that's funny. Let's put them on again. The ratings are up. Nobody was interested in Hillary Clinton except the Russians. Okay? <laughs> Everybody was interested in him. And what he had to say. And, and Kamala and the rest of them need to take a page and say, look, if I don't win, I don't win. Let me just be myself and go out there and say it. And say it. And but, be politically incorrect a little bit. But I, I mean, there is there's a sort of cognitive dissonance to this, because I don't know which comes first. You're right. Bernie, Biden, um, Buttigieg, they're pulling in the top three in most Iowa, New Hampshire swing state polls right now. Polls can change. So it, it, I don't know if it's that journalists are following them because they're doing so well. Mm -hmm. I will say it is noteworthy. Pete Buttigieg is a minority in and of itself. He's an open, mm -hmm. openly gay man. Mm -hmm. So that's historical as well. Mm -hmm. I will say mm -hmm. that what bothers me the most of all the coverage of the candidates so far is, and I know you like him, but Beto's coverage infuriates me on an almost daily basis. No woman could ever lose running for Senate and then go on a Jack Kerouac road trip, abandoning his wife and kids, finding himself, then do an announcement on the cover of Vanity Fair. That's what he did. did they? And wow. then going on, he did, he left them and he went on a road trip to find himself after he lost. No woman could do that. Well, we could say and that then he went on, he could, just one second, <laughs> then he went on the cover of Vanity Fair right. and he said he was born to run. I believe if Kamala Harris or Amy Klobuchar or Elizabeth Warren mm -hmm. had done any of those similar things, they would be lambasted well, yeah. in the media. Because if you have children as a woman, well, you can go, but nobody well, we will understand. We won't. Nobody will say. So you're a grown what? ass man finding yourself after yeah. you ran. I don't understand it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, honey, you know. I never get men applause, are, so clearly men, people are agreeing with you, but no, I'm sorry, men, but men are always, doing that. Yeah, no, men are always, you know, oh, I've got to find myself. I'm going to, <laughs> you know. But women, you know, you can't get up and just leave your no. kids. No. Nope. You know, people will not, uh, they don't care if you find yourself when you have yeah, kids. Nope. They don't. There is no finding <laughs> okay. yourself. You, you find your kids. That's what you do. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. 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 yeah.